Hello, everybody. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Happy you know, holiday weekend, whatever your plans and your schedule might look like. Um, weights, always an option. Top of your mat, we are going to begin in a comfortable seat, taking whatever feels good for you. I invite you to take a couple breaths, let your eyes close down, kind of shake, wiggle out, whatever you need to. Just work towards some stillness in your body. Notice, feel, pay attention to your breath. Think of using that breath to start to calm the mind, start to calm your body. Feel free to keep your eyes closed. And as you inhale next, reach both arms up towards your ceiling, almost like a big yawn. And exhale, bring those hands back down. Just two more times, inhale, stretching up. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, release. And now inhale, stretch your arms up, eyes can stay closed, and reach over to your right side. Let that right hand plant to the ground. Inhale, come back up, reach both arms high, and to your left. Let that left palm to the floor, to your side stretch. Inhale, come back up, both arms high. Exhale, releasing our hands to the ground. We'll come up into our tabletop. And just start with moving your head and your tail side to side, still kind of warming up those sides of the body. Let your hips sway. And then you start to let that get a little bit bigger. You can kind of lift off one knee and shin as you rock side to side, looking over your shoulder. We'll come back to stillness, finding our tabletop. Now moving through the spine, front and back, finding your calves. As you exhale, curve back. Inhale. Yeah, just a couple more on your own. We'll see if we can take full circles of our head and tail, moving side to side and through your cat and cow. And go one direction a couple times. And reverse, circling through. Coming back, finding our tabletop. We're gonna tuck the toes, just lifting our knees, covering your tabletop. Then step feet back long, finding our high plank, press through the heels, hold and breathe. And finally, down dog, hips coming high, begin to pedal, alternate your heels. You can always walk those feet a little closer towards your hands. From our down dog, continue to walk those feet up towards your hands, top of your mat, and folding chest towards the legs. Knees, nice deep bend in our knees, finding rag doll. You want to grab your elbows or interlace hands behind your head. Really like that should soften.
Making sure you're breathing here. Take about three more breaths. As our hands come back down, if you want to widen those feet out a little bit further, easy twist, setting our right fingertips high. Feel free to roll the wrist here. Go the other way. Take big sweeping circles in the arm. And other way. And switching left fingertips, reaching high. Start rolling the wrist. Go other way. Big sweeping circles in the arm. And reverse. And releasing that left hand back down, bring the feet together or separated, maybe about an inch or two. Knees bent, chin to chest, slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. When we come up to stand, rolling your shoulders down and back out of the ears. And reaching our hands forward, palms face in. And swing your fingertips back, find your chair, bend your knees, sweep the fingertips behind, keep your palms facing in. Then inhale, come back to stand, reach your hands forward. Two more, bend the knees, sweep back, palms face in. One more, stand up, reach forward. Swing the fingertips back, bend knees. Inhale, come tall, keep your hips forward, open twist your right arm back. Now bring that right hand to our low back, left fingertips reach up, a little bit of a back bend. Both hands reach forward, stand tall. Switch left arm back. Hand to low back, send the right fingertips high, little back bend. Bring both hands forward, long spine. Sweep the fingers back, bend the knees, take your chair. Release the hands down, stretch the legs, stepping left foot back, low lunge. Bringing that knee down to our mat, fingertips staying on the floor, press that right hip back, left hip forward. Now add the arms up, reach all the way to the ceiling, soften the shoulders. Bring the hands down, lift that back knee, step back to your high plank. From here, lower to our knees and shins. Hug the elbows in, we're gonna lower all the way down to our belly. Top of our head lifts, little cobra. Release, hug the elbows in, press up to your tabletop, low belly pulls in. Tuck the toes, high plank, fold and breathe. Hips high, down, dog. We come up, forward fold, together a little separated. Bend the knees, fingertips reach forward, palms face in, stand tall. Sweep the fingertips back, bend the knees. Two more times, inhale, stand tall, reach forward. Bend the knees, sweep back, keep your palms facing in. One more, reach up. Bend the knees, sweep back, reaching forward. Left arm back, open twist. Take that back bend, right arm high. Hands reach forward, switch, right arm back. Take the back bend. Reach both hands forward, bend the knees, palms face in, weak, sweep back. Release forward, fold, right foot back, low lunge. Bringing just our knee down, fingertips down our mat, lifting the chest. Now add the arms, palms face in, but reaching to the ceiling. Release, take your low lunge, press back to high plank. Knees and shins are gonna lower, elbows hug in, lowering the chest, cobra, top of the head. Release, firm up the low belly, press up to tabletop, press up to your high plank, and down dog, hips high. From here, we'll bring those feet all the way up and through, coming through to take a seat. So as we take a seat, we're gonna come on to our backs. 
And just starting with our knees into our chest. Maybe take a moment if you need to, a little bit of rocking. And massage out that low back. Take a few circles. We're going to come into our core. So squeezing our legs together. Shins parallel to the floor and ceiling. Reaching those arms up. So again, our palms are going to face in. Palms face in the whole time. Just start to send your arms overhead. Biceps by your ears. Reach your fingertips back up towards the ceiling. Again, just take your arms overhead. Hold the legs. Reach back up. Two more times. Just opening up the shoulders. Reach back up. One more. Arms overhead. Reach up. Now hold your arms and just float your toes down. Pull back up. Toes down. And up. Three more. Nice and controlled, just like your arms. And up. And down. And up. Last time. Toes down. And up. Now plant your left foot to the floor. Cross your right knee on top. Palms come together. Bend your elbows so thumbs are towards your forehead. If you want to slide your right elbow underneath, finding your eagle arms. Or keep our palms together. We're going to inhale, reach the arms back up overhead. And then as we exhale, draw your elbows and knees together and curve. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, curve. Three more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curve. Inhale, reach. And curve. One more. Inhale, reach. And curve. And reach, unwind your arms and legs. Bring that left knee on top. Palms together or slide your left elbow underneath. Eagle arms. Inhale, reach the fingertips high. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. And curl. Inhale, reach. And curl. Three more, reaching out. And curl. And two. Curl one more time, reach out and curl. Reaching out, unwind arms and legs, bring our knees back in. Start to rock and roll length of your spine. Coming up to your boat pose. So once you come up there, drawing your knees together, inner thighs squeeze. Reaching your fingertips forward. If you want that challenge, maybe start to lean back a little bit more. We're breathing strong for eight, seven, Six, five, we'll come to high plank in four, three, two, and one. Release and find your way up to high plank. Press out long through the heels, firm up the core, breathe here, hold. Setting our hips high, taking our down dog. We'll inhale our right leg, sweep those toes up. Draw that knee to nose, feel that same contraction curve. Inhale, right leg high. Step it through, low lunge. Coming up, high crescent lunge, press tall. Opening up, warrior two, bending into our right knee. Keep that right leg committed in that bend, reverse warrior stretching, feel that side stretch. And reaching forward and down, extending side angle, maybe bring that top arm towards your ear palm, facing to your mat, to the floor. Stretching up, reverse warrior. Cartwheel hands to your front foot. Take your low lunge. This time, step up, forward fold. Grabbing our weights, inhale, chair, coming up. Bring those weights together. We're going to bring those arms down. We're going to step our left foot back, tap, bicep curl, and up. Now switch, right foot back, and up, left. And up. Keep those elbows to your ribs. And up. Here for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now this time, step your left foot back. Just stay in your crescent lunge. Bring your arms out to your goal post. Draw it in. And open. In. Now an option if you want to try to lift your front heel, lift and lower. It's a little extra challenge in the legs. Four, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Bring the weights down, find your low lunge. Stepping back to high plank, side plank to your right. So right side down, left side reaching high. Hold here, option for a little pulse in that lower back. Right arm is strong. Maybe tap arm by your ear. Think of your extended side angle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High plank first. Find your breath. Find that strength. Press back, down dog. Inhale, sweep left leg high, knee to nose, curve. Stretch it high. Step through, low lunge. Fighting high crescent lunge, hold the legs. Spinning into our left knee, warrior two, open out. Commit to that front leg, reverse warrior. Extend side angle out and down. Maybe top arm bicep by your palm facing to the floor. Lift up reverse warrior, stay bent in your front knee. Hands cartwheel, low lunge. Step up, forward fold. Take your weights, bend our knees, coming all the way up. We're gonna step that right foot back, take your bicep curl and switch, left leg and up, right and left. Here we go, four, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now take our right foot back, hold your crescent lunge. Go post the arms, in and open. In, option if you wanna lift your front heel and lower it, challenge the balance. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights down, low lunge, step back, high plank. Side plank, your left side down, right side to the ceiling. Hold here, maybe bicep by your ear. Add that pulse in the lower body if you'd like for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High plank, hold and breathe. Pressing back, down dog. Inhale, bring your feet up to your hands, top of your mat, space, forward fold. Bend our knees, sweep those arms, palms fixed in, standing tall. So from standing tall, you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna cross behind, take a little dip, and come up, then switch, left leg, really cross your inner thighs, and up. Keep your arms reaching forward, chest stays lifted, cross, and up. For six, for five, cross as much as you can, inner thighs. Three, two, one, stand tall, bend your knees, sweep the fingertips back. Bring your right thumb on top, hands can rest a low back or pull away. Take your chest expansion as you fold. Bring the hands to your low back. Release your grip, bend your knees, bring your arms forward again, palms face in. We'll take it again, start with your left leg, cross behind, and up, right leg cross, and up, inner thighs as you stand tall, cross, and up. Last time for six, five, four, three, Two, one, coming up, bend our knees, sweep the fingertips back. Left thumb on top, hands resting our low back or float away, chest expansion and fold. Hands to our low back, release your hands, bring hands to the floor, step back to your high plank. Lower from your knees or toes, slow and controlled all the way down. 
Lift top of the head, cobra. Release tabletop or high plank. Everything arrives together in your high planks. High plank to down dog, stretch back. Inhale, right leg high. Now bend that right knee, cross it towards your left arm, press the ground away. Reach it high. Now draw it towards your right arm. Reach it high. To your chest, low lunge. High press and lunge, reach top. Open up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Extend side angle, take that top arm really reaching out. Reverse warrior, reach up. Hands cardio to front foot, low lunge, step up, forward fold. Taking our weights, come to stand. This time we're gonna take those arms up towards the ceiling. We're gonna take our tricep curls and up. Now as you do that, tap your left foot behind you, bend your elbow, squeeze your left heel to your glute, and extend arms and legs. Bend and extend. Flex your left foot. Is keeping your inner thighs together and your knees together. Just squeeze and extend for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring those arms back in. Continue to step your left foot back, finding your lunge. This time we're gonna airplane your arms. Let your palms face in. Take a little pulse through your triceps here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the weights down. Step back to your high plank. Left arm high. Take your side plank, holding here. Top arm can come towards your ear. Option to try to float that left leg. Maybe a little pulse in that top leg if you're ready for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High plank, nice and easy transition. Press back, down, dog. Inhale, left leg up. Cross to your right arm twist. Press away, stretch it in half. Left arm, press it high, knee to chest, low lunge, high press and lunge, warrior twos, left knee bends, reverse warrior. Take that stretch, extend side angle, really reach out long, reverse warrior, hands cardio, low lunge, come up top of your mat, bend the knees, grab our weight, standing tall. Reaching our arms up, tap those right toes behind. Tricep curl, squeeze right heel to our glute and extend. Right foot's flexed. And in, at the same time, inner thighs squeeze together. In, extend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, take that right foot all the way back, find your lunge, airplane the arms, palms face in, pulse those triceps, long spine for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, weights come down, step back, high plank, right arm to the ceiling, last time, bicep to your ear, maybe float your right leg, hold, or mini pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your high plank, fold and breathe. Pressing back down dog. Give yourself about two breaths in your down dog. When you're ready, look towards your hands, top of your mat space, folding forward. Bend the knees, reach those arms forward, come up to stand. It's time to reach your arms all the way up. Take a little baby back arch, full post and hips, gently come forward. Option instead, bring both hands to your low back as you open your chest. 
Slight engagement in the glutes. Weight towards your toes. We'll stand taller and take our left foot back. Open up wide. Find your star. Heels in. Toes towards the corners. Reach your arms out. Palms are going to face to the side. On your exhale, goal post your arms. Draw your elbows in. Sink low. Inhale, star. Stretch up. Exhale, horse, shoulders down. Think of drawing your elbows together behind you. Inhale, star, one more. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star, turn the feet to that side. Wide forward fold. Coming down. We'll stay over here for a couple breaths. If you want to wrap your hands around the ankles. Maybe reach out in front or even walk those hands back between your legs. A few breaths as we hang over here. And we're going to keep turning back to our right foot, finding our low lunge. We'll bring that left knee down, sending our hips back, finding our half splits. You can either stay up on your knee or you can sink your hips towards your heel. If you need to intensify that stretch, you can really flex the right toes or relax that right ankle. And come back forward. You can just kind of step, or if you need to kind of lift up, find your high plank. We're going to come into our tabletop and just stacking those shoulders over wrists, anchoring down through our right foot. We're going to take our left leg. We're just going to lift that left leg out to the side and lower. Lift and lower. Four, eight, seven, six, straight out to the side. Five, four, Three, last two, one. Now flex your left foot and squeeze your heel up towards the ceiling and a little pulse here. Your knee is pointing to the floor. So if you need to kind of look underneath, double check, pulse here and then long spine for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now lift that left leg high and then cross it and tap down behind your right. Lifting back up and cross. Lifting up and cross. Lift and cross. Four, five, cross. Four, cross. Three, and cross. Two, and one. We're gonna take that left knee all the way down. So we're transitioning. You can kind of roll back if that feels okay. Come to your cow face legs. So your right knee ends up on top of your left. Or if you need to transition a different way to find your way there, feel free to also cross at your ankles if that feels better. And a nice easy twist over the right shoulder. You can soften, maybe relax on this twist just a little bit. Maybe that means a slight unwinding. Nice and easy, we'll unwind and then twist over your left shoulder just for a couple breaths. And as we come back, you can either kind of roll back forward. You kind of unwind or however you need to, and then bring your feet up to the top of your mat, taking your fold. And we can bend our knees, sweep the fingertips through, stand tall. 
Reach your arms all the way up, baby back arch, softening into your toes, engage the glutes. Again, option both hands to low back as you lift your chest. Straightening out, we'll take our forward fold, come down. We'll step our right foot back. We're gonna spin open into our wide forward fold right away. Turning both feet to that side. Take your couple breaths here. So you can, from here, bend your knees, turn your heels and toes out. Maybe come back up towards your horse, hands or elbows on your knees. Maybe if you're shifting side to side, just track your knees over your second toe. So if you need to adjust where your toes and knees point, maybe you have to widen or shorten your stance. Or an option is to press your palms, interlace, and then start to shift down and over towards your right. Come back through your horse over to your left. Think of pressing up and over. Kind of like you're going up and over a wall or fence. Up and over and up and over wherever you are. We're here, four, five, and four, and three, two, one. We'll turn to our left foot, finding our low lunge, bringing the right knee down, setting your hips back, taking your half splits. All the way up, sitting on your heel, toes up or toes down. Begin to transition forward, either just swing that left foot back tabletop or however you need to. Then again, from this tabletop, we're going to take the right leg. So pressing down through your left leg, reaching your right knee out and lower. Lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, last three, two, one. Now flex your right toes. Press your right heel towards the ceiling. Keep that knee pointing down as you pulse. Keeping those hips square here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now lift that right leg, then cross behind your left and tap. Lift back up and cross. Lift and cross for five and four, three, two, one. We're gonna have that right knee crossing. Tap that all the way down. You can start to kind of roll yourself back or however you need to find your way. Left leg either on top or in front. We'll twist over the left shoulder, nice and easy. And again, maybe you kind of release just a little bit out of that twist, soften in the body, soften the breath. And then we unwind and counter over the right. Coming back, this time we'll unwind our legs. You can stretch them out in front for a moment. Take them out. And we're gonna find our weights. We'll plant our feet. And then we're gonna start to gently kind of come all the way onto our back. Let those feet be planted, but rather than our knees high towards the ceiling, take them a little bit longer. 
bringing our weights together. Again, our palms are facing in, weights are reaching up on a slight bend in the elbows. We're gonna inhale. And then exhale, slowly let those arms come overhead. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, overhead. Slowly up, overhead, and up, overhead. Four more, up, overhead, three, overhead, last two, overhead, and one, overhead. Bring those arms back in. Now slide your feet closer. Now reach your arms out, so letting your weights kind of press to the outside of your hips and thighs, almost like your IT band. Now start to lift your hips up, finding your bridge, and then press your knees open and close, and then resist with your weights. Open and close. Open, close. Keep those hips nice and high. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two. Now holding your legs, just release your weights down out to the side. Bring your palms back to the floor, keeping your hips tight in your bridge. From here, sneak your right foot behind your left heel, letting your right knee fall open. So a kind of one leg bridge and your right knee is opening. And then slowly lower the hips to the floor. From here, bending your left knee in towards your chest, keeping that right knee open on our mats. So you need to slightly adjust that right knee, bring that hip open. Option if you want to try to open that left knee a little bit out towards your shoulder, gently keeping our right knee down towards the floor. You can use the hand. Bring our left knee back into our chest, planting our left foot down, and then take that right ankle and cross it on top of your left knee. You want to bring the legs back towards your chest, find this figure four. Both knees can be, stay bent. If you like a little bit of rocking here, side to side, it might change up the stretch. We can even Flex and extend that left heel up towards the ceiling. Wherever we are, slowly releasing the left foot down, unwind that right foot. And just bringing our hands back down. We're just going to lift the hips up, finding our bridge for a moment. Sneak the left foot behind our right ankle, letting the left knee and hip open, keeping our right knee up. Back bridge. Slowly lowering the hips down to the floor. Left leg release. Drawing our right knee into our chest. And you have to slightly adjust that left leg. And you can stay here, then we open our right knee a little bit towards the shoulder. Maybe use a hand to keep that left knee opening on the ground. Right knee back up. Plant the right foot, take the left ankle on top, finding your figure four. You like that little bit of rocking here. Or stay still in the body and just breathe. Extend that bottom leg up. Flex the foot.
Start to softly re-bend, plant the right foot, plant the left foot. And then take a moment if you need to, kind of let your knees, maybe your hips rock a little side to side. Bringing our arms out to T or goal post. And then one hand at a time, drawing the legs to your chest. And just float the legs up towards the ceiling. Allow your knees to be bent. And maybe even imagine kind of water on the tops of your thighs, your quads, your shins, your ankles. You can kind of shake it out, maybe get a little bit of rolling in and out. You kind of bend and straighten the knees or roll out your ankles. And just let those legs float up towards the ceiling. Check in, little movement in your head. Give it a little nod. Rock it side to side. And let your eyes close, still floating your legs up towards the ceiling. So just kind of reversing the flow and energy and body, letting everything kind of melt down into the floor. And we're just going to stay here for nice five full breaths. I invite you to even take it as an open mouth exhale. So when you're ready, empty and clear out. Take one inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Again, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale. As you exhale, release your legs into the floor. Just take a moment, allowing your whole body to be still. Allow yourself to maybe stay there just a little bit longer. Take a few breaths on your own. You did it. Awesome work, everybody. Have a great holiday weekends. Stay well. We'll see you next time.